Hi, folks. And we're back to the Paradox Mega Campaign, Europe Universalis 4. This is the world uh, that likes us, essentially our colonies, and our few but valuable allies. And the rest of the uh, wretched world that doesn't know any better. Because they think they're better off independent and not under our direct control. Which, obviously, I mean, <laughs> it's not that we're megalomaniacs or anything, but they're obviously wrong. So, need to keep doing our very, very good work of stopping that freedom. So, uh, yeah, let's bring this army over to the northern flag here. So I can crush the British from both sides at the same time. Quickly. Are they allied with anyone? Of course they're not. Nobody likes the British. So... Hmm. If they win that, we'll take it. Oh no, they'll lose? Oh! They had colonies that were occupied... I see. By the natives. It's not the British that invaded the natives, it's the natives that invaded the British. Ha <laughs> ha! And they can't defend it. Good! Good, good, good to know. So, we'll help the natives for a while. So, is that... Yes, that is within the Empire. We cannot uh, remove it while we're at war. I don't want to have any Imperial territories under my command. Hmm, okay. We'll have to declare war and end war with Great Britain quickly. So that pretty much coincides with the uh, end of the war against the natives. And that should be settled rather quickly. So, perfect. More quickly colonized then. Let's beat things along a bit. Bring you to Northumberland. We can start coring some of these. Slowly but surely. Ah, lost the effects of surging and blast because of the overextension, no doubt. It's gonna hurt trade a lot. The Imperial Guard should always be uh, in uh, tip-top shape. You can see the camera. All right. Not bad. Demands for representation. Number of hostile publications have begun to circulate in the cities of Portugal. Anonymous yet very critical. Authors claim that the government is autocratic. <laughs> autocratic. I mean... Yeah, yes. But... It is a benevolent autocracy. Much better than... Incompetent... Democracy. 
Hmm. Vague promises of reform. Yeah. That's the political line we're gonna take. So, okay, we have a lot of money. What should we spend it on? Have truces? Well, so many different... Okay, so. some of those universities we'll have to think about that okay pretty much exhausted all of our building options I suppose need to improve our provinces uh, development to have more slots or just get more provinces I mean, eh, always the solution to these things. Hmm, ah, they're not done drilling, so we need another military leader. Isn't too bad. Alright, so we're gonna start removing these provinces from uh, hmm, trade companies temporarily so we can convert them. In Tragiria, somewhere in uh, Indonesia. Yeah. Again? Birth and Co. No. Vague promises. Most likely to be in Lisbon. Ruler. Diplomatic scale of at least five. Have diplomatic skill of six. All right, so out you come. Convert those. Quickly, please. Company investments. Hmm. Trade power. Sailors and manpower. Um have a lot of manpower but I'm worried that uh, Chalukyas uh, actually they have no reserve manpower right now are they at war with someone? yes they're probably wasting their manpower walking around across the uh, Himalayas or something Actually, might not be a terrible time to attack them. Hmm. 400,000 men is still a lot.
Okay, let's see. Can we take... Everything. Ah, no, they can't make that a core. Okay. Right, so, while we're waiting for the diplomats to come back, you stop drilling. Do we have any damaged ships still? No, okay. And, well, they have a small fleet there. Let's blockade Lincolnshire. Why have you stopped before? Ah, because we moved the leader, probably. Yeah, probably. Why? How many more? 364, okay, almost there. Regiment cost reduction is nice because regiment cost also changes how much they cost in maintenance afterwards. Um, ship spinny. Okay, so you might want to do that before we start expanding the fleet again. Oh, come on. They found that, uh... Okay. Well. Then you could do something else. Right. Going to declare war on Great Britain. What else do we want? Oh, come on. We have no support now. Not even one. They're all split between different candidates, but we should be one of those candidates. Private relations... Yeah, okay, let's give them subsidies. For what? 20 years? I should maintain it high enough for long enough, I guess. Right. So, how free colonist? Louisiana is expanding north, that's fine. Let's make sure Cascadia doesn't get overrun by Labrador here.
then we can move on to the Pacific colonization. So. The Iroquois Confederacy, really? They have a hmm, native ally. Okay, imperialism is actually a better casus belly than the claims. Alright then. Uh, no, let's not call any uh, of our allies. No need. Lincolnshire and Scarborough, all done. Oh my god, that's very good. Siege specialist. That's the best trade we could uh, hope for. Even though he's not got a great siege score, in fact, uh, he's terrible. He's a terrible siege specialist. <laughs> all right. I'm really good at being bad at this. Ah, that's not Great Britain anymore, okay. Right, so. We want to improve relations. With you. And... Caribbean. Actually, uh, yeah, I think we want to improve relations with the Pope before anything else, actually. Actually, actually, actually. Stop drilling. Need to put down that revolt. Start coring something else. Oh. Ah, oh, crap. We decided to build buildings. That's not a good idea. Okay, make something else a core then. Okay, seems like these guys want peace. Oh, that's, um... Yeah, let's concentrate on Louisiana's. So. That's a lot of victory points. Uh, 
Okay, what if we declared peace independently? These are different tribes, right? Yeah, let's do that. It's gonna take longer, but we'll be better off. Get more diplomats on the job. Royal Navy sunk. Good. Hmm, that'd be a bad time to attack with a morale of armies increase. Okay, sue for peace. We want everything. Ah, 50% overextension, we cannot stomach that right now. It's gonna have to wait a bit. Great Britain occupied what? Hmm, probably misread. Okay, how about now? Can we take everything? Okay, can take all that. Not what is occupied by the other Indians. Okay, that's fine. We'll have a shared border and Louisiana can expand inward from here. Delayed salaries. Lose 128,000 manpower? What? Campaign Great Britain has run into some severe logistical problems. The season for salary payment draws near, becoming abundantly clear that we will not be able to pay all troops. Ah. Lose 5% army professionalism. Not great. Gain 5 of 45 devastation, East Midlands. Yeah, 
living off the land is better than losing 125,000 men. Even if we do have to recover the professionalism. But we can do that with all the drilling rather quickly. Maybe a few years. So, oh, we uh, actually have uh, another free Selangor, Selangor, Selangor. Selangor. Mass representation? Oh, come on. Royal marriage offer from Swabia. They're not an elector. No, we don't want that. We defeat Franconia in war. It's one of the things we can demand. For them to step down from the emperorship, maybe, I don't know. Vassalize one of these. I wish, but so first thing ship and regiment cost reduction. Be short on admin points again. We need to focus on that as soon as we can. 96, four years ago. ago uh, away. Not four years ago. Um, right. Ah. Free diplomat. What can we have you do now? We are going to need to have good. Yeah. Relation with Dairakian to integrate in 20 years. And with them, so they can help us defeat enemies in the east. Which is going to be our next task. So.
Need to reduce our overextension as soon as we can. So we can make peace with Great Britain and take all their territory. Oh, can build the Panama Canal in, uh, really? Trade power and global trade power. Wow, that's super expensive. Sure. Alright, the Pope no longer hates us that much. And yeah, things will only improve with time given yeah. All the other winding down negatives, that's fine. Five. Uh, gonna need to wait a while yet. Sure, help them a bit. Ah, we need claims against Sicily, uh, hmm, maybe at some point in the future, but now I have other things to focus on. That's where they were. Wow, they went all the way across the planet for that. That's not a very uh, sound strategy in my mind, but sure. Right, so, relations have improved with those guys. Hmm. How large is Paramara's army? Substantial. Yep. 
Yeah, this is the time to strike Kalyani. Their army is not. They have no reserve manpower, only 300,000 men. I think we should get all of our armies ready for battle, is what I think. So. Come to Kumari. We're going to need at least three armies here. Let's take the African army as well. Having the three fleets won't hurt either. Okay, improve that army a bit. How many can we spare? The one in the Great Britain, Imperial Guard. Get over there. going to need all of our armies essentially. Leave one in Italy. Get all of our armies poised to move east. Can we increase our fort? Uh, okay, we're at level six. Fort network is pretty much at maximum. Yeah, get a fort there. Rocks picture, maybe. Ah, have the space, right.
Well, we have fairly large forts over here that we don't really need all of. Improve that, block the uh, Alps passage. Should they come from the east? Hmm. Well, we'll just have to make do with what we've got. Right. Because we are at war, they're unwilling, but... Oh, they also have too many diplomatic relations and don't trust us. If we were to improve relations, though, let's see. That makes a dent and we can uh, pull them into the war against Kalyani. That would be fine. Hmm, is our Asian fleet enough? 43 and f Hmm, 43 heavy ships. Even with the African fleet... If they combine all their ships, our fleet is not strong enough, I'd say. How many? 43 heavies. We do have the galleys. And if we take them to the coastline, they have no galleys at all. Hmm, we could chance it. We can certainly rebuild faster than they can, I think. But all of that is going to be next time. Till then.